The Rivals is a comedy of manners by Richard Brinsley Sheridan in five acts which was first performed at Covent Garden Theatre on 17 January 1775. The story has been updated in numerous adaptions, including a 1935 musical in London and a 1958 episode of the television series Maverick, See Below, starring James Garner and Roger Moore, with attribution. Richard Brinsley Butler Sheridan, 30 October 1751 to the 7th of July 1816, was an Irish satirist, a politician, a playwright, poet, and long-term owner of the London Theatre Royal, Drury Lane. He is known for his plays such as The Rivals, The School for Scandal, The Duenna and A Trip to Scarborough. He was also a Whig MP for 32 years in the British House of Commons for Stafford, 1780-1806, Westminster, 1806-1807, and Ilchester, 1807-1812. He is buried at Poets' Corner in Westminster Abbey. His plays remain a central part of the canon and are regularly performed worldwide. In English literature, the term comedy of manners also anti-sentimental comedy describes a genre of realistic, satirical comedy of the Restoration period 1660-1710 that questions and comments upon the manners and social conventions of a greatly sophisticated, artificial society. The satire of fashion, manners, and outlook on life of the social classes, is realized with stock characters, such as the braggart soldier of ancient Greek comedy, and the fop and the rake of English restoration comedy. The clever plot of a comedy of manners, usually a scandal, is secondary to the social commentary thematically presented through the witty dialogue of the characters, e.g. The Importance of Being Earnest 1895, by Oscar Wilde, which satirizes the sexual hypocrisies of Victorian morality. Major Characters Sir Anthony Absolute, a wealthy baronet Captain Jack Absolute, his son, disguised as Ensign Beverly. Falkland, friend of Jack Absolute. Bob Akers, friend of Jack Absolute. Sir Lucius O'Trigger, an Irish baronet. Fag, Captain Absolute's servant. David, Bob Akers' servant. Thomas, Sir Anthony's servant. Lydia Languish, a wealthy teenaged heiress, in love with, Ensign Beverly. Mrs. Malaprop, Lydia's middle-aged guardian. Julia Melville, a young relation of the Absolutes, in love with Falkland. Lucy, Lydia's conniving maid. Summary. The play is set in 18th century Bath, a town that was legendary for conspicuous consumption and fashion at the time. Wealthy, fashionable people went there to take the waters, which were believed to have healing properties. Bath society was much less exclusive than London, and hence it provides an ideal setting for the characters. The plot centers on the two young lovers, Lydia and Jack. Lydia, who reads a lot of popular novels of the time, wants a purely romantic love affair. To court her, Jack pretends to be, Ensign Beverly, a poor army officer. Lydia is enthralled with the idea of eloping with a poor soldier in spite of the objections of her guardian, Mrs. Malaprop, a moralistic widow. Mrs. Malaprop is the chief comic figure of the play, thanks to her continual misuse of words that sound like the Words she intends to use, but mean something completely different. The term malapropism was coined in reference to the character. Lydia has two other suitors, 
Bob Akers, a somewhat buffoonish country gentleman, and Sir Lucius O'Trigger, an impoverished and combative Irish gentleman. Sir Lucius pays Lucy to carry love notes between him and Lydia, who uses the name, Delia, but Lucy is swindling him. Delia, is actually Mrs. Malaprop. As the play opens, Sir Anthony arrives suddenly in Bath. He has arranged a marriage for Jack, but Jack demurs, saying he is in love already. They quarrel violently. But Jack soon learns through the gossip of Lucy and Fag that the marriage arranged by Sir Anthony is, in fact, with Lydia. He makes a great show of submission to his father, and is presented to Lydia with Mrs. Malaprop's blessing. Jack confides to Lydia that he is only posing as Sir Anthony's son. She annoys Mrs. Malaprop by loudly professing her eternal devotion to Beverly, while rejecting Jack Absolute. Jack's friend Falkland is in love with Julia, but he suffers from jealous suspicion. He is constantly fretting himself about her fidelity. Falkland and Julia quarrel foolishly, making elaborate and high-flown speeches about true love that satirize the romantic dramas of the period. Bob Akers tells Sir Lucius that another man, Beverly, is courting the lady of Akers' choice Lydia, though Sir Lucius does not know this. Sir Lucius immediately declares that Akers must challenge, Beverly, to a duel and kill him. Akers goes along, and writes out a challenge noted despite his own rather more pacifist feelings, and the profound misgivings of his servant David. Sir Lucius leaves, Jack arrives, and Akers tells him of his intent. Jack agrees to deliver the note to Beverly, but declines to be Akers' second. Mrs. Malaprop again presents Jack to Lydia, but this time with Sir Anthony present, exposing Jack's pose as Beverly. Lydia is enraged by the puncturing of her romantic dreams, and spurns Jack contemptuously. Sir Lucius has also learned of the proposed marriage of Jack and Lydia, and determines to challenge Jack. He meets Jack, who, smarting from Lydia's rejection, agrees to fight him without even knowing the reason. They will meet at the same time as Akers is scheduled to fight, Beverly. At the dueling ground, Akers is very reluctant to fight, but Sir Lucius will have no shirking. Jack and Falkland arrive. Akers learns that, Beverly, is actually his friend Jack, and begs off from their duel. However, Jack is quite willing to fight Sir Lucius, and they cross swords. David informs Mrs. Malaprop, Lydia, Julia, and Sir Anthony of the duel, and they all rush off to stop it. Sir Lucius explains the cause of his challenge, but Lydia denies any connection to him, and admits her love for Jack. Mrs. Malaprop announces that she is Delia, but Sir Lucius recoils in horror, realizing that he has been hoaxed. Sir Anthony consoles Mrs. Malaprop, Julia is reconciled to Falkland, and Akers invites everyone to a party.